what's up guys, Pippin here, and today we're playing Ranked of Varus. We've got a uh, Tarek support, I'm um, actually do what doing with here, and this is before the last patch, so uh, golems are still easy to do. And luckily for them, I'm guessing their jungler started red and they were able to come stop us. So we were only going to get a very small experience advantage there from the smallest golem. And so we're facing Draven Lulu, as you can see. Pretty tough lane. They have pretty good damage off the support, as you can see there. And Lulu, kind of like Blitzcrank, she preys on lanes that allow her to just sit in the bush because she'll walk out. As soon as she gets her E on someone, she's free to walk away and not take damage and then just cast Q at her leisure. And we're gonna get pushed back pretty quickly at the start. And this is one of the unfortunate things about Atari Clan is that it's pretty difficult for him to help you see us when you're under turret, since if he walks up there and melee the minion, it's going to take ton damage. And we're missing quite a bit of CS because of that. Well, we know we can't win fighting in this lane, so we're just going to try and poke. Get us done here or there, like that. And pretty much just hope that our jungler sees how far up they are comes to help us. I've been playing quite a bit of Varus lately. He's pretty good in most lands. We're gonna get a flash forward for, from Targ there, but he wasn't in range to get the stun in the first place. And wow, one shield saves Draven's life. I decide to go back in I had pretty much timed the shield there that I was going to wear off. So not only did I get the kill, but Draven actually tried to flash away from it, which is impossible once the attack starts going. And uh, the only unfortunate thing is that their mid arrived first, and I got hit with that Lee Sin Q right off the bat. So now... We're behind in CS. We beaked out one kill over this Draven. But the gold total is only less than 200, so really no difference at this point. However, the thing I like about Varus, which is why I've been playing him so much lately, if the enemy team has no healing, which in this case Lulu doesn't, you know, they recently buffed Varus, his Q damage. Oh, Lee Sin, looking for a gank there. You can just level up your Q now, instead of E, which used to do. And you can just try and... outpoke any lanes that aren't Seraphia, pretty much. And you can see already, this lane has kind of shifted. Is they're a bit more afraid to get close. And they actually should have seen Nautilus. Or no, that's that's actually we had a pink ward in our tribush. So they had no idea Nautilus was coming. Yet another reason to play Varus. When you have a solid CC jungler like Nautilus, you can just throw your ult out first. It has good range. And basically makes it a, a free gank. There is no way that Lulu could escape once my ult hit. And the CC just got poured down. And we actually got two kills out of it. Draven. Draven should not have been anywhere near that fight. But he tried to help his support and he died for it. So now, we've gotten my favorite laning item for Varus, which is BF Sword. I said that the, the Q snipe damage had increased, well, 
check this out. Just pretty much use all your abilities once with the BF sword. Don't know why Lulu didn't use her ult there. Draven probably should have lived. But nevertheless, tons of damage. In fact, I really try and grab the BF sword before anything else if I can if I can get the golden lane. But in this case I died getting that snipe kill under turret and I didn't have the gold, so I went a few other items first. But you get the BF sword, you level up Q, and you can do some huge snipe damage. It's really silly how much it does. You can see there. I mean, that's like a fourth of Lulu's life at a range where there's really nothing she could do about it. And on top of that, you have above average auto attack range for an 80 carry, which means you do alright against uh, Caitlyn lanes. And you've got two CCs. So he's a really well rounded character, I'm playing him a lot when I have to 80 carry. So at this point, we have a pretty huge gold lead as a team. 4k is a lot this early in the game. And you can see a lot of it is on me. I'm an entire BF sword up on Draven at this point. And um, our other lanes are doing just fine as well. Top lane's 2 and 1. Ziggs is 2 and 1 in mid. And all of us has pretty much been helping out all the lanes. And really, once you once you help your bot lane out one time, it tends to snowball enough that unless it was a really bad lane matchup for them, you can pretty much snowball it off one one good gank early on, or once we hit six, as was the case in this game. And we're just gonna keep taking our free objectives. There's really nothing they can do about it. And even with no mana, we will just keep farming and pushing back the wave, protecting our turret. And our team's actually just gonna go hunting in their jungle. I should have sniped the Lulu right there. Might have killed her if I had done that. But she's gonna get away. Lisa's gonna miss the easiest Q of all time and allow us all to escape. But yeah, this game, as long as we don't throw hugely, it's pretty much over. We've got a few pretty huge kill advantage and two turrets and I think two dragons. They're gonna gang up and dive zigs there. Renekton comes in, tries for a kill. But we'll just take the turret instead. And that's how you know you're winning by a lot, is when you your mid laner dies and you take a turret off it. Because you should at least be able to get a lot of people low enough that they can no longer defend their objectives. And I turn around for that Q on the Lulu, which actually lets Zinzao get to me. I turn around and ult him, he gets exhausted. We snipe Lulu for the kill. Don't know why she was sticking around. But yeah, we're just too far ahead now. And too much CC, really. Varus Leona, Varus Tara clans seem really good. Because you can just stack on the crap control and there's no escape. And you throw in Nautilus there as well. You can see he just ulted that rumble straight up and there was really know where he was gonna go. They're gonna try to defend their inhibitor, but nice out there from Ziggs. But yeah, there's not much they can do at this point. We just have to wait for a minion wave. So yeah, important lesson of this game, we were actually losing our lane really early on. We were getting pushed to our turret all day, the trick is not to try and fight in a lane you can't win. 
just try and see us under turret. Play defensive if you have to, because all it takes, especially with Varus or Tarek in lane, all it takes is one good gank. There's no way they can escape from the CC, and you can turn it around. Good game.